10, investigative reported disturbance at Acer Plaza. 10 for dispatcher, verify address. That's Acer Plaza, repeat, Acer Plaza. Shots fired on the rooftop. An assault in progress at Acer Plaza. Repeat, an assault in progress. final gunshot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger, and then it was over. To make any kind of sense of it, I need to go back three years. Back to the night the pain started. I was still on the force back then. NYPD, Manhattan, Midtown North Precinct. Hell's Kitchen. So when are you coming to work for me, Detective Payne? You'd make me work undercover in some hell hole. Sorry, Alex. Michelle and the baby come first. See? My last smoke. It's bad for the baby. That's you, Max. A regular Boy Scout. See ya, Alex. They're still on for poker Thursday night, right? Like taking candy from a baby. Life was good. Sun setting on a sweet summer's day. The smell of freshly mowed lawns, the sounds of children playing, a house across the river on the Jersey side, a beautiful wife and a baby girl. The American dream come true. Honey, I'm home. But dreams have a nasty habit of going bad when you're not looking. The sun went down with practice bravado. Twilight crawled across the sky, laden with foreboding. Michelle, honey, anybody home? I didn't like the way the show started. But they'd give me the best seat in the house, front row center. Okay, so welcome to what's gonna be a new Let's Play series, Max Payne 1. Uh, I tried to record this a couple what the times. Hell? Um, it's been giving me a little bit of trouble, but hopefully this time it'll work. <coughs> well, um, as I'm sure you're aware, this is Max Payne, and he can do a lot of cool stuff, as we'll see later on. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, just let me start my timer. Okay. Okay. Let's check this out. Something ugly had been tattooed on the wall, a map of things to come. It was a poison syringe, a magic tag full of diabolical meanings. As you can sure, as you, I'm sure you're aware of, as I'm sure you're aware of by now, you, Max Payne likes to talk in monologues a lot, and likes to use a lot of descriptors, and is very deep. Listen, someone's broken into my house. Call 911. Is this the Payne residence? Yes, someone's broken into my house. They're still here. You have to. Good. I'm afraid I cannot help. Who is this? Hello? I'd be really pissed if someone said that to me. Alright, thanks for that tip. Um, I forgot to sync up, so... 3, 2, 1... That was pretty delayed. Um, I don't know, 3, 2, 1... There. I guess that's about as synced up as we're gonna get. So, uh, let's go upstairs. Michelle!
Oh my god. Oh man. No, 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 please god, no. It's really terrible what happens to him. I don't know if I could live with that. The flesh of fallen angels. Bam. No, 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 God, no, please, Michelle. Oh, baby. It's really horrible. That was three years ago. Everything ripped apart in a New York minute. The killer junkies had been high on a previously unknown designer drug, Valkyr, V. After the funeral, I told Alex I'd be transferring to the DEA. It took us three long years to get a break in the Valkyr case. Then, finally, two months ago, a dime dropper tipped us off that Jack Lupino, a mob boss in the Punchinello crime family, was trafficking. I went undercover infiltrated the worst mafia family in New York. Alright, chapter one. I've already beaten this game before, so... I came in from the cold and the dark. Outside the city was a cruel monster. I've been slowly working my way from the small time to the big fish, trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex and Bibi were my only contacts in the DEA, the only ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. Bibi here. Something urgent has come up with Jack Lupino. You need to meet with Alex immediately at the Roscoe Street Station. I hadn't had a face-to-face -face with Alex since I'd gone undercover. Outside, the mercury was falling fast. It was colder than the devil's heart, raining ice pitchforks as if the heavens were ready to fall. Everyone was running for shelter like there was no tomorrow. It didn't get any better when I got to the subway. The feeling hit me like a point-blank shot straight in the face. Something was not right about this. My Beretta stirred nervously under my coat, but the train doors had already shut behind me, and I was in for the ride. Next stop, Roscoe Street Station, and Alex. Come on, finish up. The station was drenched in gloom. Alex was a ghost, nowhere to be seen. I'd have to look for him. Okay, um, so we're looking for Alex, which is Max's friend in the DAA, and whoa, and apparently there's blood and gunshots, and death everywhere. Death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. Exactly what Max said. Oh, okay, and so... The funny th or interesting thing about this game is that when it came Appeals out, Appeals would ease the pain. Appeals would ease the pain. Max pain. Um, when this game came out, it was quite revolutionary to have um, this kind of good graphics, apparently. And I don't know, I wasn't playing this kind of game uh, back in like 2001. I was playing other stuff, but. Um, and also, it's the first game to implement bullet time, as what you'll see right here, in slow motion and with um, bullets flying, and you can see them go in places. Whoa! <laughs> oh man. Okay, I reloaded. Um, and yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I'm gonna die. This is not good. Oh, my God, I hate this. Beretta. Okay. I'm gonna freaking die. Oh, you gotta be kidding. This is really starting off well. Okay. Let's try that again.
Death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, I'm playing on a higher difficulty than I did when I first played this game. So... The pills would hold the pain back for a while. Excuse my terrible playing skills. This game can get pretty hard at some points. Even on this difficulty setting, I played it out before, but... This time... Wasn't Jake supposed to take care of this? Yeah. Oh, he's not dead. Well, he certainly hit the ground. Uh, I'm going to quick save. Right. Um, you need to save a lot in this game because stuff happens. Whoa! I just love that. This is that's the best part about Max Payne is being able to dive like that. Whoa! He wasn't expecting Max Payne. The pain from the bullets was too great. Bring on the pain, Max Payne. The jokes are endless. Hey. Ah. Oh yeah! Pump action shotgun kind of sucks, so I won't be using that. Oh, I'm on a set of Berettas. Fine, I will have to use the shotgun. F5. Did you hear something? Nah, take it easy. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, my key's stuck. What's going on? That wasn't really fair. Um, E, yeah, oh, enter, maybe, no, enter's not working either. Um, hold on a sec. Oh, come on. Oh, where is my autosave? Is that my autosave? I think that is. Okay. Yeah. And uh, my keys still aren't working. What the hell is going on? Well, I'm going to have to cut this episode short while I sort out the problem, but um, hopefully next episode we'll actually get some stuff done. Uh, it's not all cutscenes. This was the f beginnings, kind of like um, an anomaly for that, but most of it's just action stuff, so we should be able to get it done pretty quick. Anyways, until next time, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and yeah, see you guys later.